Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this video that uh, is meant to explain one of the examples that uh, I have shown at the lecture, in particular the examples that concern uh, uh, the implementation of uh, Rangekuta embedded methods. It's not so important uh, if you don't remember or you have not uh, seen uh, so far Rangekuta methods because uh, uh, the, main, the main ideas uh, are quite, uh, quite simple. Uh, Rungekuta methods uh, are a class of methods uh, to solve uh, an ordinary differential equation, a Cauchy problem of this type. The y over the t equal a fourth term that is itself a function of uh, the time t and uh, y itself. And uh, the interesting thing uh, is that uh, there are quite a lot of method uh, uh, of different methods of this sort, and they're all characterized by what is called the Butcher tableau or sometimes Butcher array. That is uh, a set of coefficients that can be uh, organized in this way. And in particular, there is a special class uh, of uh, Rungekuta methods called uh, embedded Rungekuta methods, where the Butcher array takes a special form. It has uh, um, uh, an array, A, of dimension S, is a square array of coefficient. S is called the number of stages of the method, and uh, is one of the parameters that characterize the method. Then uh, an array of uh, other coefficient, uh, s coefficient called c, that however uh, one can also avoid to define it because it is just this, the row sum of the array a. So c1 is just the sum of the first row of a, c2 is just the sum of the second uh, uh, row of a, and so on. And uh, two other arrays, again of dimension S, that enable to have two methods in one of two different orders. The idea of having this embedded scheme is that it is easy to implement an adaptive type scheme, that is a method that advances in time, but the amount of advancement, called normally time step, can change from time step to time step uh, just uh, uh, because I'm able to estimate the error that I am making uh, at every time step, uh, thanks to the fact that I, I can wrote a different combination of, uh, uh, of a certain uh, uh, particular combination of uh, quantities that are computed from uh, uh, using the other uh, uh, parameters. Uh, so these two different uh, combinations give me two tentative solutions that here are indicated y n plus 1 and y star n plus 1, and the difference is indeed an estimate of the error that I'm making. So this is what at the moment you need to know. There are a lot of methods uh, of this type, uh, and they are all characterized by a different uh, butcher array. This method sometimes is also called the Rungekutta Felberg, even if uh, uh, only some of them are in fact uh, been, uh, have been developed by, uh, by Felberg. But uh, sometimes uh, Rungekutta Felberg is used as a synonym of Rungekutta embedded methods. We want to implement them, and for the sake of simplicity, we will implement them for the scalar case, uh, that is, the, this uh, y, the solution, is just a scalar. However, the uh, changing the code uh, to make a method uh, that operates instead for systems of ordinary differential equation is quite uh, straightforward. So let's look 
uh, the way I have uh, organized uh, the example. The example is under the directory example sources uh, RK45. Uh, RK45 because uh, originally I have developed just uh, one version of a uh, uh, Runge Kutta Felberg. The new version uh, that I'm gonna explaining now is uh, uh, instead uh, is very general. You can use it uh, to implement uh, any Runge Kutta embedded scheme of explicit type uh, because there are, uh, there are also Runge Kutta implicit schemes but we are not treating of here Runge Kutta implicit schemes, uh, you can implement any explicit Runge Kutta embedded scheme using uh, the structure, the framework uh, that I have developed uh, in this example. So uh, what do we have? Uh, let's do a, let's clean it up a little bit. Okay, what do we have? Uh, we have a set of files, uh, the classic make file, and some header and uh, source files that define the, the different part of, uh, of the implementation of the Runge Kutta. First of all, uh, let's have a look uh, to the class uh, that I have created uh, to encapsulate uh, the butcher tableau, the butcher array is called uh, butcher dot hpp and you see this is a header file starts with a header guard as it should and i've also placed everything into a namespace as i told you it's very convenient to use namespace the namespace where all uh, things that uh, concern uh, this implementation of Runge Kutta is called ODE for Ordinary Differential Equation. And uh, the array is just a struct. I didn't create a complex class. It's just a struct that means a class where all the uh, members are public and in particular it will contain the array A and the array B1, B2, and C, that, and the vector, sorry, uh, B1, B2, and C, that we have seen previously. Uh, here you see the uh, use of, of an alias, of a type alias, uh, because of the array A is stored as an array of array that is an array in the sense of a matrix, and so array A, in this case, A is a matrix of size and stages, will be contained into an array of array. So it's an array of array of double, dimension and stages, dimension and stages. This is a simple way to create a simple fixed size matrix. Okay, this uh, structure is a template structure and is parameterized by the number of stages. So, depending on the number of stages, uh, the, uh, the, the dimension of uh, the array A, of the matrix A, changes. Okay, using uh, aliases for types uh, is very convenient uh, for two reasons. The first reason is that uh, I... Uh, from now on, uh, I can write a table instead of std array, etc., etc., which is a bit uh, a bit long. Uh, so I save typing. Uh, and but the second reason is that uh, if in the future I want to change the way uh, the array is stored, at least for what concern the the type, uh, I just have to change here. Okay, just to have to change this line. Of course, uh, maybe it's not uh, enough to change the line if I want to use, for instance, uh, fixed size matrices uh, of the Eigen library, I can have here an Eigen matrix. But uh, uh, of course, uh, maybe I, I will have to change also something else, but at least uh, I don't have uh, to change every, every time 
uh, I have STD array, etc., etc., with uh, the corresponding type for the Hagen matrix. I just have to change this uh, declaration for a table. Uh, then uh, the let's look for here. Then inside uh, this uh, structure, I have uh, an array A, and I have uh, the vector B1 again uh, as a, a standard array of uh, length and stages, the array B2, the array C. I have also another variable that is the order of the method. Yeah, uh, depending on uh, the method that I use, I will have a different order. Uh, and this is the order, uh, is the maximal order of the method, because the runge kutter embedded method, in fact, has two orders, one given by B1 and the other given by the B2 arrays. Uh, here I have uh, to indicate the higher one, the higher one of the two. Um, here I have a constructor. You see, this is the constructor for the Butcher array. In the constructor of the Butcher array, I will give uh, the table, the A table, that is uh, the matrix uh, A, the two arrays B1 and B2, and uh, the order, uh, which is by mistake uh, here given as uh, a double, while instead is an int. You see, I've already made uh, a little mistake. And uh, what happens uh, is that uh, I initialize uh, the internal matrix A with small a, B1 with B1, B2 with B2, and order with order. But uh, this constructor does also another thing, creates the array C. Since the array C is just the row sum of, a, of the matrix A, I just loop over the row of matrix A, and I sum the row. Okay, so here you may notice that uh, here I have the eth row. Once I have the eth row, I will extract the eth row from the array A. Remember that A is a matrix, but is a matrix. Uh, that has been defined as an array of array. So extracting the eth element of A, I get in fact an array that corresponds to the eth row of A. Then I iterate over the row and I will just accumulate C. C has been filled at the beginning with zero. The method fill is a method of uh, an array. C, remember, is, is a standard library array. And the method fills, uh, just fills the array with a certain value. So eventually I have uh, that each uh, ro uh, row of C is in fact the sum of the elements in the row of A. Um, I have also created, uh, just to show how it works, uh, a static constexpr function that returns, that just is, is, a, is a function, is a static function, because uh, is, a, is, a, is a function of the class uh, that returns uh, the, just the number of stages. So I can interrogate the number of stages. But I also did something, diff, uh, something uh, fancy. Since, uh, as I said, uh, the array, this with this bachelor array, I can uh, define any runge kutta scheme. But there are some runge kutta schemes that are quite common. In particular, RK445, that is the equivalent of uh, ODE54 in MATLAB, and uh, RK23, that is equivalent of ODE23 in MATLAB, that is a particular case of runge -Kutta. and since uh, these are quite common, I want to have them uh, handy, 
without having the need of define every time the bachelor array. So I have um, created, first of all, a type just to, to indicate them, RK45, is in fact a bachelor array of six stages, because RK45 has got six stages, and I declare an external variable call RK45. So this is a nice use uh, of uh, uh, external or global, sometimes are called variables. Okay? Uh, and again, the same for RK23. Now, I need also a CPP file. Uh, in the CPP file, let's save it since I corrected a little mistake. In the CPP file, I only have the definition of those two special variables, RK45 and RK23. You see, I just call the constructor, and uh, I pass to the constructor the definition of the array. There are a little, uh, well, uh, quite a number of brackets, uh, uh, only because remember that uh, matrix A is an array of arrays, so I have to put uh, a certain number of brackets, but you recognize here uh, a, 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 a matrix of dimension 6 by 6, and these are the coefficients. Mo many coefficients are zero, in particular the first row as only zero coefficient, this is typical of explicit Runge-Kutta methods. This uh, is uh, B1, the coefficient for B1, and these are the coefficient for B2. And the order, the maximal order, is 5. This is instead is simpler, is RK23. I have uh, an array A of dimension uh, 4, because I have 4 stages, and uh, again uh, the array, the vector b1, the vector b2, and the order 3. So you see, it's rather simple, apart of the guessing the number of brackets to, uh, to, to, to place, uh, eventually is rather simple. I, uh, I have defined two variables that encapsulate these bachelor arrays. Now let's go to the most important part, that is the Runge-Kutta uh, Feldberg or Runge-Kutta embedded method, is in the uh, files called RKF, all uppercase. Let's look first at the header file. In the other file, again, I open the namespace ODE because everything is under that namespace. And first of all, I have created another little structure to, uh, to have uh, all of the information that will be returned by the function that implements, uh, in fact, the Runge-Kutta method. Because uh, the Runge-Kutta method has to return uh, a certain certain information, in particular a vector that contains all the time step where I have computed the approximate solution, a vector that contains the solution. But then uh, it is very convenient also to have uh, a measure of the error that has been estimated by the formula. The fact that if something wrong happens, this field will be equal true. That means that something wrong has happened. For instance, uh, I, I have uh, uh, the, the method uh, has failed for some reason. Uh, and these are just two 
to informa to, to useful information just to know how many times I have expanded the time step. That means how many times I have increased the time step because the error was sufficiently small so, so to allow me to increase the time step and how many times I had instead the need of contracting the time step. These are not really necessary, are here are, are just for, for to have some further information from the method. And here is uh, the class uh, that implements uh, the Runge Kutta embedded method. I have to de decide how I want to represent the force in term that should be a function of the time and of y of the solution. And I decided to make uh, use uh, of uh, the function wrapper of the standard library. So my function, this is just an alias, is in fact a standard function that takes uh, a reference, a constant reference to t and a constant reference to x. I could I call it here x, I could have called it y, uh, nothing changes. So it is, uh, and returns a double. This is f, t, y. I have a constructor. Uh, this is a constructor that takes uh, <coughs> the butcher table. A butcher table is, a, is, a, is another name of the butcher tableau. Uh, and the forcing function that uh, uh, of the of the equation, uh, of the um, ordinary differential equation I want to solve. And puts uh, them into a private, in this case a private members, the function and the butcher table. Then uh, uh, I want uh, this class to be default constructable. So I want to be able to construct uh, an object of type LKF without, without giving any argument uh, to the constructor. And uh, uh, I am happy with uh, the, the full constructor provided uh, directly from, uh, by the C++ uh, language. So I just say that the default constructor, the one that takes no argument, is the default. Um, then, uh, since I have a default constructor, I need to have also methods to set the butcher array and to set uh, the function. Since uh, if I construct uh, an RKF with the default constructor, it will be an, uh, a class uh, empty of functions and butcher arrays. So I need to have a way to give uh, a function and a butcher array to an empty, let's say, RKF uh, object. And so I have a method set function, just a set the function, and a method set butcher array, that just set, set the, butcher, the butcher table or butcher array, as you want to call it. The main function is just an overloading of the call operator. So here you see a nice example of overloading of the call operator. So RKF is what is called a callable object. An object of type RKF will be a callable object because it can be called like it were a function. And here the operator takes T0, that is the initial time, uh, the final time, because I want to solve uh, my ordinary differential equation in a given interval, the initial value for y, uh, the initial time step, remember this is, is an adaptive method, so the time step may be changed by the method according to the error estimation, but I have to give an initial one, an initial value, then the tolerance that I want for the error. I want to give a tolerance to the final error, and this is indeed a tolerance on the desired global max error norm. So I'm measuring the error in the, 
uh, in the maximum uh, no, in the no, uh, maximum norm. That means uh, I am uh, I want to control the error at the final time step. There. So I'm very restrictive here. I want to control the error at the final time step. And then I give uh, a maximum number of steps. And uh, this is a safeguard to avoid uh, too many steps. And uh, this I'm giving also a default. So here also you see that I can give a default value. Uh, so if I do not indicate this uh, uh, the, this parameter, uh, the, if I not don't give uh, uh, this argument uh, to the call operator, uh, the value will be 2000. Inside, uh, then uh, they said uh, there are two uh, private members, two private variables, the butcher table, the forcing function, and uh, I have also in the private section of this class uh, another function this is a function that just do one step of Runge Kuta. Okay? So just one step from time step Tn to Tn plus 1. And uh, it has a t-start, the, 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 the time at uh, Tn, the, 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 the current time, the, va the, the value at that time, and the, the current time step. Uh, it is private because this function is meant to be used only inside the main uh, method of, uh, of this class, uh, that is indeed uh, the call operator. So it is used inside uh, the call operator. And here I will not uh, go in the detail about the method. This uh, is the definition of, uh, the, uh, of the method uh, I don't know why I put in line. There are a lot of strange things that I did uh, in this example because uh, indeed, uh, well, you can declare it in line if you want, but uh, it is a too complicated uh, function. To this is certainly not uh, will never be in line. So let's take uh, that in line out. Uh, it's not needed. Uh, uh, this is the definition of the operator. Uh, of the call operator. It is still in the header file because it is uh, the definition of a template method, oh sorry, of a method of a template class that is also that is also called a template method. You see there is a template that is the butcher array. Okay? So the class RKF is templated with the type of the butcher array. It's clear? So I, uh, I will have a different uh, Runge Kutta embedded method depending on the butcher array that I give as a template argument. Um, I will not gonna go explaining the uh, the, the method uh, because it's, it's rather involved, uh, it's rather sophisticated actually. Uh, I just want to show you that at a certain point uh, I will call uh, the um, where is it? The function that does just one step. Okay, step here it is. Okay, this is the private method that just do one time step uh, of, uh, of the method. I also use a tie, which is very convenient, uh, because rkf step returns a pair. A pair, the first value is the new time, and uh, the second uh, is uh, the, the new value of, uh, of y, so the new solution. And I will and I use ty to transfer those value into y low and y high. Ah no, sorry, sorry. This is not uh, the. I, I made a mistake here. <laughs> sorry. Um, this is not the time. This is the value computed with the uh, 
low order formula, this is the value computed with the high order formula. Remember that inside the Runge-Kut embedded there are two formula. We have two array B, and with this two array B I can I get two values, and the difference between the two values uh, is indeed uh, the estimate of, uh, of the error. And indeed, uh, when after I compute the two values, uh, where is the type? Here, the current error is just uh, the difference of the two values. Okay. Um, other things uh, that are can, can be interesting to notice. Uh, uh, I want to check that the time step doesn't go ridiculously small, so I don't allow the time step uh, to go below 100, the machine epsilon. So here uh, I use uh, numeric limits to extract uh, uh, machine epsilon. Um, I will not go and explain, because as I said, it's rather involved, how the adaptive scheme is made. If somebody is interested, you may ask me, just write me a mail. I can, I can spend some time to explain you how, how, the, how the method works. Uh, and uh, eventually, it will return the result. The result is just the... Um, that structure that uh, I, I feel, so the result is here, RKF result, is a, I remember that it is a structure, and that contains a certain, uh, uh, that contains the final, uh, the final, uh, the final result, uh, um, and, um, and everything that uh, has to be returned. I just want to see some places where I put, uh, Fine, set new point. Uh, yeah. Um, I show you also another trick. You see, here, uh, res is a structure that contains uh, quite uh, a few, quite a few attributes. The time, so the vector with all times, so the vector with the solution, etc., etc., etc. Since uh, I don't want uh, just not to waste time to write every time res dot expansion res dot estimated error to when uh, when I need uh, to address the estimate when I need to 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 correct uh, uh, the, the the estimated error that uh, eventually I want to return. Uh, I am creating some references. So expansion is a reference to less expansion, contraction to less contraction. In particular, time is a vector double, is a reference to a vector double that is just uh, an alias to rest time, and uh, y is just an alias to rest y. So when here I do a pushback, uh, I'm pushing back, in fact, uh, to the attribute uh, inside uh, the structure res. Structure res that I return eventually. This RK step, uh, just do one step of Runge Kutta, is just an, imp an implementation straight out of the book. So you can look at the book of Professor Quarteroni or also to Wikipedia, the page that I've opened uh, before. Uh, and uh, this is just exactly how you implement one step of Runge Kutta. And here I compute the two, the two values of the low order one and the high order one that I return using make pair. There is also a CPP file. I don't remember why. Oh, yes. Uh, in the CPP file, um, I've also uh, defined uh, a streaming operator that, in fact, is, uh, is declared in the HPP file. It's just that uh, you, you will find it declared 
in the HPP file. Here it is defined so that uh, if I want to print out uh, the results, uh, I don't have to, I have it written uh, once, uh, for, uh, once for all. So uh, you have here uh, just uh, uh, um, an operator, just a streaming operator that just prints to a stream that can be see out if you want to print on the screen, but it may well be a file, and indeed it will be a file, and that will contain a number of time step, a number of contraction, number of expansion, the the t, the y, the estimated error, and then uh, all of the uh, time and uh, and. Um, uh, and the value of the uh, of the solution here it is uh, this prints for all times the value of time of rest time and the value of rest y i is set to zero at the beginning and every time is adjourned uh, while here i'm just computing the maximum and minimum uh, uh, time step. So I also give uh, just as an information the minimum time step and the maximum time step. Here you see a uh, use of uh, the standard uh, uh, algorithm max and min. So let's look uh, finally at the main. Okay, this main uh, uh, contains also an old, uh, old version of the uh, of Runge Kuta for five. That is still there because uh, I need it for other for other. It's used in in other examples, so, so I kept it. But uh, let's forget uh, this part. The part that uh, is uh, interesting is this one that is also much simpler. Eh? And uh, this is a new version. And here, for instance, I want to use a Runge, Kat, Runge Kuta for five. To use a Runge Kuta for five, I will create an object of type RKF in the namespace ODE, parameterized with ODE RK for five T. Remember that this was a type that I have defined to indicate uh, the butcher array that uh, is able to contain uh, all the information for the method RK45. Then uh, I call the constructor solver. Solver will be my, my class, the object. Uh, by passing all the RK45, that is the butcher array for RK45, that I remember is a global variable in the namespace of the E, so it is in fact a namespace variable. It's like C out, huh? it's, 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 a name, it's a namespace variable, like C out is a namespace variable in the namespace STD. RK45 has been defined as a namespace variable in the namespace of the E, and I pass a function. The function foon, I have defined it here. I'll, with using a lambda, you see the fa the function internally is stored as a, a std function. But since the std function can take, can be constructed starting from a lambda, I create a I have created here a lambda, and the function is very simple. It's just minus ten uh, times y. Uh, if you want, we can change it, uh, uh, so that is uh, nicer. I have a minus sinus of t. This is just a function of, of time. This forcing term is just a function of time. If you want, you can add, you, you can write the function that, that, that you want, okay? Um, initial time, zero. Final time one, well, with the sinus of t, 
sorry, initial, initial value one, uh, final time 100, the initial time step is 0 0.2, and I want uh, an error of 1 to the minus 6. Once I have created my solver, you see, I just call it as it were a function, because it is a callable object. Okay? So this is just uh, if you want to use RK23 instead of RK45. You just uncomment this one and comment the other. Then I create a file, an output file stream, called result2.dat, and I write the solution in the file. Let's have a look if it uh, compiles. I hope so. Um, make. Oh, sorry. This makes a library. Um, make exec. Make exec. Okay. Because the old version uh, used to go to a library, and so I still have the old version also in this. Uh, the old version is this one. I will not explain this because it is, a, uh, is an old version uh, and it's only for RK45, uh, while the new version imp may implement any Runge-Kutta embedded explicit scheme. Um, so now I have created the, 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 the main. I can run the main. It will tell me that uh, the maximal error, um, sorry, the maximal error, of course, is wrong because I've changed the function. Because uh, I have, uh, I am, uh, yes, I am, uh, sorry, I am comparing uh, the estimated error with the exact error. And I can compute the exact error because these functions are very simple and I know the exact solution. Eh? But of course, uh, 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 there is a function called exact. I know the exact solution. Here it is. If I uncomment this line, I should also comment this line, because the exact solution for this function is, of course, different than the one from this one. So let's take minus, minus 10 to, to, to uh, times y. This is the exact solution. So I can also uh, obtain the I have to run again. Make exact will make the executable and uh, main okay now it's better now the maximum error so this is the exact error because i know the exact solution so i can compute it the actual error is 1.8 to minus 9 i've asked uh, an error of 1 to the minus 6 so i obtain much better this is because of the method that i've implemented is very restrictive in controlling the error so it is very likely that the error you uh, you have is indeed much smaller than the one you have requested so in fact i have an error at the final time of the order 10 to the minus 9, uh, while I've asked uh, just for 10 to the minus 6. Now the result uh, is uh, in result dot result 2 dot that. You see, number of time step 463, number of contraction 34, number of extension 30, that means I have uh, reduced the time step 34 times and I have expanded it 30 times. Um, the estimate error is the same uh, that I've seen before. We have seen uh, um, before. Uh, the, um, sorry, this is the estimate error. So not the one I have asked, uh, but the one that is estimated by the formula that is below 
10 to the minus 6, as it should be, uh, but is uh, still greater than the actual error that, in fact, is of the order 10 to the minus 9. So the, wor the, the method works, is even more restrictive, is controlling the error even better than, uh, than, uh, than desired. Um, the minimum time step uh, is this one, the maximum time step is this one. And here I have uh, the list containing the time and the value. If you want to see the solution, that is an exponential, uh, is a negative, uh, is an exponential with a negative uh, exponent, is a rapidly decaying solution. If you want to see it, uh, I have uh, I have uh, created a little script with uh, a GNU plot command. So you just have to do plot.sh. And here it is. This is the solution. It's a very rapidly exponential. It goes to practically to zero very, very, very rapidly. And you may notice, even if it is not very evident, well, it is a rather, you can see it here, that the methods have refined the time step here, where there is a strong variation of the derivative of the solution in order to be accurate, huh? uh, while it has expanded a little bit here, where it can be more generous. Um, that's it. Uh, I think you enjoy, you have understood the, the, the example. Uh, you have a readme file with uh, everything explained there. And uh, enjoy. Have a look at the code. Uh, and uh, if you want to modify it uh, to make it work for, um, for a, a vector, uh, problems, uh, that is, for system of uh, ordinary differential equation, please tell me and uh, I will give you uh, the suggestion on how to do it. Uh, with a system, you can do a lot of very nice things, lots of Voltaire equation. Uh, uh, there are, uh, it, it's certainly much fun.